How you guys doing? Great. Uh, I found out the sound I make when I get hit by a car, and it's not the sound I wish I made when I get hit by a car. I was walking through an intersection uh, recently, and a car was turning left, and I could tell it was going to drive through me at like 35 miles an hour. And the sound I make is no, 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 no. that high, high part at the end. <laughs> the sound I wish I had made would be more like, uh... <sighs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Guess it's one of those days. <laughs> <laughs> but I go with the uh, no, no, no's. <laughs> I watch a lot of rap battles on YouTube, and my favorite part is when they're kind of starting out, they're stalling, trying to think of what they're gonna say. They act like they're getting in the beat. They're like, uh, uh, what? I've started doing that in my real life. If my boss is like, why were you late? I'm like, uh, uh, what? Ha <laughs> ha, here we go. I overslept. I listen to a lot of books on tape, uh, not uh, in my car, like a normal person, just sitting on my couch looking at a wall like a psychopath. <laughs> but it's always made, made me wonder, how would they do a, a book on tape of, of the uh, Kama Sutra? So I think it'd be like this. Now, Books on Tape presents the Kama Sutra. Okie doke, uh, first page. Uh, what you got here is basically a guy and his girlfriend. They, uh, they look Indian. And they're doing it uh, kind of uh, doggy style, but uh, one of his legs is straight. That's all I got on that. Uh, next page, same guy, same gal. They're still doing it, kind of same position, but it's like someone tipped him over, like uh, cow tipping. Next page, uh, these two are still going at it. This time, um, it's like he passed out on his back. Uh, maybe too many margaritas. And she's... Like, I don't know, uh, acting like a, a frog or something and uh, hopping around and then he wakes up and they decide to do it. <laughs> um, I have a friend from growing up who gives updates on his butthole while he's telling a story. He, uh, he's a contract painter and he's, he'll be like, I, I was painting the outside of the school and uh, I was up three stories, scaffolding gave out. I grabbed onto a bar, I looked down three story drop, my is about this big. <laughs> I was camping the other day, I come out of my tent in the middle of the night to take a pee. I look over, I'm making eye contact with a black bear, my is about this big. <laughs> I'm fine with it, I just wish he would do it with regular stuff, you know? He's like, I paid taxes, I got them in on time, it took me a little while, but I filled it all out. Uh, my butthole was uh, just a normal, you know, not especially clenched, just a seated butthole. <laughs> okay. uh, do you guys think this is the craziest year we've had ever? In like the last hundred years, it seems like this might this would be in the running for craziest year ever. But I did think that last year, and so on. And I, I started to wonder, maybe I think that all the time. And so I went back and getting ready for my, my JFL uh, visit here. I was looking through old jokes, and I found my 2007 set. So I'm going to tell you a couple jokes from that, and we'll see, uh, test my theory here. What is up with 2007, y'all? This year is insane. Every day you wake up to like 10 insane news stories on your flip phone or whatever. And <laughs> it's so crazy, you can't keep up. You can't decide whether to like hide your head in the sand or like just immerse yourself in the news and get angry. I mean, did you guys hear about this? Harry Potter books are gonna end now. <laughs> the Deathly Hallows one is the last one. F holy fucking Christ. <laughs> My country, you know? <laughs> Bob Barker's leaving prices right? <laughs> it's gonna be Drew Carey? What's up is down. God, it's insane. Oh, 07, what are you doing to me? Shrek the third? <laughs> oh, Shrek the third. 
My Santa back back then was just me saying headlines and then going, oh. <laughs> um, I was talking uh, to a couple of pretty ladies once and um, one of them said, so what's going on with the scars on your neck? Were you burned in a fire? Because we were flirting, you know, <laughs> how it goes. Uh, I had to decide quickly if um, it was more embarrassing to have had acne in high school or to be involved in a fire that is for some reason just around my neck. <laughs> just a neck fire. <laughs> so I uh, decided to uh, stall for a minute. I was like, uh, uh, what? That's my time. Thank you, guys.